Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! 
Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yinkala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry. You see, the Das Yichat engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because, first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry! <sighs> All right. Grun got the Enigma terminal working again. Captain, I need some help. Just sits there with me. ghetto. Now this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of resistance all over the U.S. of Blazkowicz. I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause. You did. Now it ain't gonna be easy. Nazis built this great fucking wall around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them. Because we got something else.
Blazkowicz. I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Christ, Captain. Not much sign of civilian life from up here. I hope we're not too late.
Blazkowicz. Head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days?
tower now. Mines are disabled. Wyatt is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but... I think the pregnancy is making me a little... Uh, you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Thanks, horse.
like someone's putting up a fight. No, this Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle. We're starting a revolution. Are you now? This here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn poor's wall. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believer in anarchist. A hell of a player on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes. Streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking this. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. You mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, <laughs> Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. Oh, God damn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the boys take suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, 
I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. They worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they track people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the tankerous men in Marble Mansion. Well, I'll see you through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. Yet yeah, here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis, just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Drops your kind of gotten their asses in gear. We have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, hold me, lead right through. This will get you drunk there, Billy, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry, Billy. Too tired to fight. You tired. Let's fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. So Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on ship. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get
Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, they read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Fine. I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Round up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Yeah. 